Welcome back to another video. Today I'm with Jody in the background there somewhere, and we are heading to the Rakai River via Ivory Lake and the Whitcomb Pass. We're currently, I'm currently standing at the door of the Mikanui Flat Hut, um, and this evening our goal is to head up to Dickie Spur Hut, which is up there so i think we've got probably another five hours of walking the uh this evening it's currently 6 p.m uh, it's just started cooling down we just had a quick swim as you've probably seen and um yeah let's get into it cheers so we've kind of just hit the first real proper bit of uphill for the trip You gotta go lower. There you go. Oi. Jump. Well, we've decided to call it a day. Um, we found this nice wee flat spot just above the river. Uh, I think we're just going to camp here for the night. It's already 10 past 8 and we don't really want to blow ourselves out on the first day so I think we'll call this home for the night. Morning of day two. Boys are still, still loving it. Um, it's the 27th of December today. And today's plan is to head up there to Dickie Spur Hut for lunch and then hopefully head up to Top Two Hut. Um, Jody is pretty keen to shoot something. And um, I'm just keen to get out of the bush. But yeah, we're all packed up now, so uh, I suppose we will get off. Well, I've just stopped about halfway up to Dickie Spur Hut, um, having a bite to eat. Uh, how would you say the track's going, Jody? It's a good blowout. Um, just steeper than we thought it was going to be. We both thought it was a walk in the park, but um, some fairly serious vertical gain going on, and it doesn't let off. <laughs> No, nah, so we've still got about 500 vert to go until yeah. we're up on the ridge line. Starting at just about sea level and ending up, you know, over a thousand metres. 1300 or 1400 metres or something like that. It's a long way to go. Yeah, but um, it's going good. Stinking hot. It is so hot. It must be about 18, 20 degrees. But uh, yeah, we'll keep pushing on.
So we're right up on the tops now, and we just made it to the turn off to Dickie Spur hut. So Jody and I are just gonna pop down and have a look. Apparently it's only about 10 minute walk, so we just left our packs at the top, and uh, we shall go check it out. Um, Jody and I have just had a new weather report come in and we're expecting about 60 mils of rain for the next three days. So I think we're going to put going any further on hold for now and I think the plan is just to camp out at Dickey Spur Hut tonight and hopefully tomorrow we shall have a better idea of what the weather is up to. Yeah. Morning guys, today is actually day four, I didn't film anything at all yesterday, um, we're just stuck in the hut at the moment, just deciding if we're going to leave or not, so we spent here, we spent the day in here yesterday, just chilling in the sun, just sort of on the off chance that the weather forecast changes, it hasn't changed, if anything I think it's gotten worse, so we're expecting about 60 mils of rain, um, between now and New Year's Eve, so in about two days, three days. Um, so I think the plan is just to head back down to the bottom hut, the Makanui uh, flat hut, this up for this evening, and dry everything out. And then probably head back to the car tomorrow. Um, and then... Yeah, I think we're going to go on another adventure. We've still got about, probably about four or five days to kill. So, um, yeah, we'll head off on another adventure. But until then, um, cheers for watching, guys. I'll keep you updated. It was a pretty tough decision to call it off, to keep going. But I'm glad we did now. That rain is just absolutely nasty. Um, everything's soaked. Everything's just dripping, so... I think it was a good call. It was a tough call, but it was a good call. Well, it's day five, and the storm has passed. We're thinking, what are you thinking, Jody? 80 mils of rain? 70 mils yeah, of rain? It'd be more than forecast, I'd say, yeah, 60 to 70. 60 to 70 mils of rain over the last probably 35 hours. Quite a lot, when you think of it like that. It's a lot of rain, as you'll see from the videos. Um, yeah, it was a, a lot of surface water. Um, but we're stoked. It's past. Uh, the sun is trying to come out. I reckon in the next hour or two, it should should be uh, pretty much out, and we'll have yeah, and we'll have blue skies. But um, yeah. What's the plan from here? Plan from here is just to shoot straight back down the way we've come. Uh, we've scrapped Ivory Lake. We've scrapped the Whitcomb. We've scrapped the Rakaia completely. Um, we're gonna start heading back down to the car hopefully we can get back across the river otherwise it, we might be spending a night in the uh, Mikanui flat hut which won't be the end of the world we've got enough food but ideally we want to we want to get back to the car this evening so uh stay with and no doubt there'll be some pretty insane river crossings to come
kind of forget just how steep it is. Yeah. Coming down these faces. They're pretty steep. I'm amazed that we got up. Yeah. We struggled. <laughs> we did indeed struggle. No wonder we struggled. And they're all wet now too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty, when you look at that, they're pretty steep. Pretty tasty. Yeah, you're warming up too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh well, uh, we've been going for about an hour and a half now and we've just stopped for a bit of lunch and we are on the Truran. Truran? Turin. Turin. We're not on the, the Turin Pass. Not the Tarunahuna. Not the Tarunahuna, as I said <laughs> wrongly. Um, yeah, we've been going for yeah two hours now. Uh, we did actually stalk a stag. Yeah, we spotted a um, actually a really big stag from the track back up there. We were coming down and put the binos up and spotted this sort of young spiker and put the big camera on it. And it turns out this young spiker was actually a very big nine point stag. It was quite old, quite mature, probably like mid 30s in um, inches. So I went and had a crack at him with the bow, but uh, it just was too slow to get there. He moved off the slip and I climbed up the wrong slip. Yeah, so yeah, Jody did have a good crack at it. Um, some redemption. I held back and tried to guide him in, but I lost him. Yeah. Was, yeah. The camouflage is too good. Yeah, his camouflage is just too good. But uh, anyway, if you want to see the full video for, with the hunting stuff, go check out Jody's channel. It'll be in the uh, description. Um, yeah. But yeah, we shall head on. For another hour or two. You savage. And uh, yeah, we'll find out what the river is going to greet us with. How much water is going to be in said <laughs> river. Get home. If we're going to get to <laughs> if, the car. If, if we're living off mashed potatoes in a wet tent tonight with no sleeping mat. There we go, because we, we may or may not <laughs> so, have gotten bored. So, so Travis stitched me up at the start of this trip. Um, we decided that um, because we didn't actually need to stay in the tent any nights that we were both going to leave our sleeping mats behind. So I left my sleeping mat in the car, and of course the first night we decided to sleep in the tent. And Travis has got his <laughs> sleeping mat, and I had yeah. nothing. <laughs> Stitched him up there. <laughs> Stitched him up there. But uh, hopefully we won't be in the tent again, because... We're, we're getting home no matter what. We'll make it home this evening. Be, we'll I'm be back either, at the car. I'm either blowing up my, the pack, my pack and rafting down that river. Yeah. <laughs> So stay tuned, because that's going to be interesting. It's going to get fun. It is. <laughs> oh, he's made it. Too easy. <laughs> oh, we love the West Coast after three days of rain. Don't we just? <laughs> I feel pretty fresh coming out of a right, Yeah, trip. five, six day trip. Yeah, my legs are actually loving me. <laughs> We've done a thousand, 1300 views or whatever. Yeah, and probably about, what, nine hours of walking in total. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're back where we had day one's camp spot, just here, and uh, we'll go check out the river and see how much it's come up. It definitely is roaring, but it's not too dirty. I still wouldn't cross it though. You can see she's pretty much bank to bank compared to um compared to the other day.
back in the uh, Makanui River now, just finding a suitable place to cross. It's definitely risen a fair bit since the other day, um, but uh, we can still cross it safely enough. Just got to find the right spot where it's not too uh, not too deep and not too swift. But I think we found one just up here. So. Oh well, there we have it, back to the car, um, wasn't really our intentions, ideally we would have wanted to end up on the east coast, but unfortunately the weather um, restricted us from doing that, didn't it Jody? Unfortunately yes, um, so we're supposed to be Price Basin Hut. Was where we'd be right now. Yeah. Um, or Ivory Lake. Or Ivory Lake. I don't Lake. think we would have gotten over the tops today. So I'd say we'd be still in Ivory Lake, crossing to Price Basin tomorrow. And um, uh, the only chance we had, we sort of lost by hesitating with the weather. So we've learned a lot from sitting and watching and waiting and talking. Um, and we're ready to come back and smash it next time. Yeah, definitely. Definitely we'll, we will be back. Just a real shame with the weather, unfortunately, but like Jody said, we learned a lot. We learned lots this trip. We learned lots about the West Coast weather and other things like food and how much you require, how much you eat when you're just tucked up in a hut for two days. But we will be back. We will be back indeed.